Here's an open source tile map template for you to use in your games. That's the very first version and it's for top-down Zelda style uh, dungeons or anything. You have both the TMX and uh, TSX files for the tiled tile map editor. There's a plugin to import this in Godot so you can design your levels here and have them converted to a Godot scene. It's not only the TMX file that you have, you also have the PSD template. The file is compatible with Krita so you can design your tiles there. All the tiles are available on separate layers, aside from the top one that's for the export in Photoshop. But you can find all the tiles on individual layers and with the alpha lock or preserve alpha option, you can paint inside of them directly. You can paint over the tile set and once you are done, you just save it as a PNG file and you're good to go. If you're using Photoshop, it will take advantage of Photoshop's generator, which you can find on the file, generate image assets. You'll need the Creative Cloud for this. The files get exported to a subfolder next to the PSD file. There you will find the tile set, but also in the sprite subfolder, all the individual tiles. Tile 1.0 both supports external tiles, individual images, but also the tile sets, and it's referenced in this TSX file. You do have the character Jack here to help you with the contrast of your background. Aside from that, note that for Photoshop to export the tile set correctly, you can see I have a layer called 50% tileset.png. As always with game art, you want to work at two times the final tile set resolution and a generator can do that if you use 50% in front of the layer name. Every time you want to export the individual tile set as a single image and resize it, you'll have to copy the merge layers with Control Shift Alt E, then place it above the tile set layer and merge with Control E you'll want to preserve the alpha mask. This forces Photoshop to export the image at half its uh, size, but also to preserve the image's resolution. If you were to remove the mask like that, and we can check in the folder, the tile set will be trimmed automatically. You can see it on the preview on the left. However, if you do have the mask, you will see it preserves the extra row and column of tiles on the sides. Last but not least, it comes with one terrain so you can quickly create rooms. You'll find that in the, the terrain tab on tiled and uh, it's called mines. You can also see the terrain setup on the template.tsx file. You'll need Tiled 1.0 to work with that. Uh, it's the latest version, it just came out a few days ago. It's the first one that supports external files, which means you can keep external tile sets and create several maps that refer to it. Every time you modify the tile set, then all the TMX levels will update. I'll try to make more tools, more script examples to vary the content a bit on the channel. I hope you'll like it and don't hesitate to leave feedback if you have any issues here or on GitHub. See you in the next one.